What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my 100% playthrough of Doom 2's Crate Expectations. This is map 6, Bludgeonator 666. Alright, we, we have 95 kills, 101 items, and 4 secrets. And right off the bat, we have that cyber demon that's hanging out right in front of us. Best thing to do is just shoot the, uh, the barrels and then hide until he gets crushed to death. We can see we got four different paths here. We head out. We'll see that the blood falls will start to rise. We can get access to the four different directions. We're going to have some pinkies here to take out. Let's get ready to shoot these guys. Grab one of those berserk packs. Those pinkies are getting shot by the cyber demons in here. See, there's tons of cyber demons in there. Don't worry though, they should be able to shoot us unless we get another rare occurrence of them shooting through the bars. But we should be all right. All right, first path I like to take is the one over here by the throne, just so we can take out all of these imps here and grab the orange skull key, or the yellow skull key. switch here does say exit but don't worry it's not gonna take us to the exit right away we grab the yellow skull key grab all of these rockets we're gonna be taking some damage here and then we'll head back up and we'll have another cyber demon that's teleported into the middle there we'll get let him get crushed watch out for any rockets that he shoots we'll save that mega armor for now all right next we're gonna go over here Hit the switch to lower the walls, and we'll see a new type of crate, the exploding crate. If you shoot that, it's gonna blow up. Let's head into the middle, and immediately we're gonna turn around and head back here. Shoot some rockets. Right. We got a bunch of there's still a pinky over there. Still trying to fight the cyber demons. We'll have the crates that we can interact with and the crates that we can shoot. So let's just lower all these crates. And we'll head over here. We can see a BFG right there. We'll grab that in a little while. First, let's grab the blue skull key. That's going to teleport another cyber demon into the middle. So again, let's watch him get crushed and avoid any rockets he shoots at us. And down he goes. Right, next up. Let's grab the, the mega armor. Next up, we'll head over here. Let's shoot those barrels. And we're going to grab secret number one, right in the middle of all of these caco corpses. We'll grab the plasma. Let's drop down. Hit this switch. We'll grab the red key. We're going to fire a BFG blast. And then get the heck out. Watch out for the cyber demon in the middle. We want him to get crushed. We also have some... Oh, didn't need to use that BFG blast. But I'd switched to the chain gun already. We also have a bunch of lost souls. Right, cyber demons down. All right, that should be all the enemies down here. Take out any lost souls still up here. Like there should be more lost souls, but we may have got them all. And after grabbing that last key, you can see that the area with all those cyber demons is now open. 
And there's a lot of mega spheres there, as you can see. But it's still quite easy to die. The point here is to get to the other end of this structure, hit the switch, it's gonna kill all the cyber demons. But for a little extra insurance, what we're gonna do is we're gonna head around back here. We can see the eye down there. We're gonna drop down. We'll shoot it. And use it to teleport for secret number two. Grab an invulnerability. We're gonna use the invulnerability to rush through that area. And crush the cyber demons. Take out the arch file that spawns in. We'll grab all the mega spheres. We're gonna leave the one in the middle there. Because we're gonna have a bunch of enemies to deal with here. A bunch of cacos and a revenant. We're gonna take out that revenant. And then we'll take out all of the cacos that spawn in. Gonna be the problem one. Two more. Okay, fine, there's one right there. One more way, way, way over there. All right, let's just hide so he doesn't shoot. He can just make his way back over here. Slowly but surely making his way over. down he goes so at 89 out of 95 that's where we want to be at we still have that one more secret so when we hop down to the eye over here the reason that we shot at it is because shooting it is going to create a bridge over to that bfg that we saw now we can go over here grab this bfg and then we're going to grab the megasphere which is the final secret There's a very slight little spot that you can hop up on there. You see that you can't just walk up on it, but right there, it's a very slight spot that you can't see that'll allow you to just walk right up. We got all the items, we got all the secrets, we just have six enemies left to kill. We'll head back down here, because hitting the switch that killed the cyber demons raised this up a little bit. We can ride up to the throne. Back around here, we have a arch file that we have to take out. And it's also going to spawn in some hit scanners. And one final cyber demon in the middle over there. We'll wait till he dies. There we go. We got all the kills, all the items, all the secrets. Hit this switch here. Get onto the throne, and we are done. All right, that was Bludgeonator 666, 100% kills, 100% items, and 100% secrets. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, subscribe as it really helps out, and I'll see you guys next time.